Hey friends, when you're working on set, if you have a crew, a gimbal or Steadicam operator, or just have a client who wants to see what you're filming, at some point you're going to have to cut the cord and go wireless. To help you toss away those long cables without breaking the bank is the Paralynx Ace. Why go wireless? Well, one, having a crew or client breathe down a camera operator's neck while shooting can be real aggravating, especially if you're running around with a Movi and everybody is running with you. And two, cables all over the ground is an accident waiting to happen. Wireless systems can let everybody enjoy the view far away from you with no hazards. Hollywood level systems can cost $5,000 and up, but those same engineers are coming up with cheaper and more solid options all the time. And enter Paralynx. The ACE is Paralynx's entry level system. At just $1,300 for a kit, it's a lot less painful to jump into the world of wireless with. And it features a zero delay, uncompressed video signal that yes, you can record off of with an Atomos recorder if your heart so desires. The ACE is rated to transmit 300 feet and you can link it up to four receivers so that four monitors can see what your camera is doing. And it surprisingly does all this without any antennas sticking out. Pretty rad. The ACEs come in HDMI and SDI flavors in both the transmitters and receivers. And you can mix and match an HDMI transmitter to go with an SDI receiver, converting as it goes. They also come in DC barrel and Limo power options. DC barrel cables are tons cheaper if you're on a budget. The setup process is super duper simple. Mount the transmitter on your camera with its quarter 20 screw hole and connect it to video and power. Then on the receiver end, connect to a monitor of your choice. Turn on all the devices and boom, wireless video. The receiver has a super simple menu system, its main purpose being helping you link units together. There is also a manager application to upgrade your firmware through a USB cable. Otherwise, it's pretty much turn on those suckers and go. There are tons of ways that you can take advantage of the power of wireless video. Hell, I even wirelessly played a movie at my family barbecue. But here at Story and Heart, we took full advantage of wireless for our Together workshops. They kicked butt at our Ryan Booth Cinematography Workshop and 31 Films' Wedding and Sony Camera Workshops. In those workshops, we usually have three Canon C100s spread out across the room. Creating a trail of 50-foot HDMI cables was just a nuh. So Paralynx Aces came to the rescue. Three separate kits for three cameras. The trickier part of using any wireless video system is figuring out which power solution is right for you. There aren't any internal batteries, so either we have to plug them into power with a DC adapter or find a way to power them off of an onboard battery. Now normally, camera geeks would find some way to create a rig with rods and find a way to slap a big broadcast battery on there and cable away. Additionally, there are some battery plates you can attach right onto the ACE units, but this makes them a tad top heavy. We like to keep our rigs small and light. Thankfully, SWIT makes camera batteries that have DC outputs, which we can use a barrel cable to connect to, powering both the camera and the transmitter in one small package. But do these transmitters really live up to their 300 feet claim? Let's try it out. Recording myself wirelessly with an Atomos Shogun Flame, uh, yes, that is pretty meta, isn't it? I walked out away from the camera and kept on walking and kept walking until I hit 300 feet and had nowhere else to go with no signal loss. What? Really? It works. But of course, that's a straight line of sight with no obstructions. So I tried putting a few trees in the way and the ace didn't fail. So I turned the corner and after a couple of feet, we finally got disconnected. That's still very, very impressive. That, I mean, that's a long distance. But it's important to note that this awesome performance was outdoors with very few competing wireless signals. The more signals you have cross-firing, the less range you may have. This wasn't a problem with the Ryan Booth workshop where we were like only 25 feet away from the farthest camera, but we hit a wall of about 50 feet in the 31 Films workshops where signals cut out randomly when we put the cameras too far away. This was probably a result of multiple Wi-Fi hotspots all around, cell phones, wireless audio, and of course the other two aces. When you hit problems, remember to raise the receivers higher on the stand and farther apart from each other, and also turn off as many wireless devices as possible. 
Overall, the magic of uncompressed wireless video is absolutely liberating for filmmakers, working in teams both big and small. And thankfully, the Paralynx Ace gives us a pretty damn powerful entry-level option. Got questions about the Ace or about wireless video in general? Ask away in the comments section below.